Well, tonight, three passengers from Portland are now taking on Boeing and Alaska Airlines. They were on board flight 1282 and witnessed the door plug blowout. They just filed a lawsuit seeking a whopping billion dollars. Alma McCarty spoke with one of the plaintiffs who considers himself and the more than 170 passengers and crew lucky. Alma? Yeah, Tim, about two months ago, Kyle Rinker took and posted this photo here behind me, a hole in the side of the plane he was on, just one row up and over from where he and his girlfriend were sitting. Now he's part of this latest lawsuit, still shaken from what happened that day. It's a pretty routine flight, two to two and a half hours long. That routine flight out of PDX to see family in California turned out to be anything but. Took off fine, and then just five minutes in, we heard the, the, the big loud pop. The cause of that noise, a door plug that blew off the side of the plane mid-flight. Kyle Rinker and his girlfriend scrambled to put on oxygen masks. We were diagonal across there. We were in 27 uh, ENF, and that was 26 A, B, and C. So we were pretty close. The wind just came in Russian. It was very, very cold. Um, all of a sudden, obviously, because you're flying up at 16,000 feet. He's reflected on these moments often over the last two months. Where we live, we we hear a lot of, you know, plane sound, jet, jet sounds and stuff. So um, that kind of just triggers like hearing that sound again. And no, we have not been on a plane since. And I'm not sure when that will happen again. The misconduct here is merely for mere fortuity that we don't have a plane load of dead passengers. Attorney Jonathan Johnson, who represents Kyle, his girlfriend and another passenger, says Boeing got lucky this time. But that doesn't mean they shouldn't be held accountable. That's why they're suing Boeing and Alaska Airlines filing a $1 billion lawsuit in Multnomah County. This is a, a mostly about the systemic problem at Boeing, which is jeopardizing the lives of the entire traveling public who travel on Boeing aircraft. Johnson explains, although the aircraft manufacturer acknowledged their role in the blowout, with the Boeing CEO admitting in January we caused the problem, the lawsuit will push the companies to prioritize safety. We've had so many... People say, oh, you know, I'm sorry what you went through. And I'm thinking like, yeah, it could have been a lot worse still, even even with it being bad. Like I think about that almost daily. We reached out to both Boeing and Alaska Airlines for a comment. Both declined our request this evening. Meantime, the FAA this week gave Boeing 90 days to develop a plan to fix quality problems.